The Wooden Railway Originals of Thomas and Friends, Episode 80. Dimitri's Devious Deed. Dimitri the Diesel was sulking. The freight cars would not stop singing rudely at him. Charlie was horrified. Be quiet, he ordered. He bumped them hard. Sorry our cars were rude to you, Dimitri. Dimitri was still furious. It's all your fault. You made them laugh at me. Nonsense, said Mark. Charlie would never do that. We engines have our differences, but we never talk about them to the cars. That would be dis, dis, dis. Disgraceful, said Simon. Disgusting, said the meat, said Jimmy. Despicable, said Mark. Dimitri hated Charlie. He wanted him to be sent away, so he made a plan. He was going to tell lies about Charlie. Next, next day, he spoke to the cars. I see you like jokes. You made a good joke about me yesterday. I laughed and laughed. Dimitri... Charlie told me one about... Simon. And I'll whisper it. Don't... Another thing, sorry for breaking Scruffy. No, and another thing. Don't tell... Simon, I told you, and he sniggered away. Ho ho ho! Go for the cars. Simon will be. Oh, when Troy, what Troy, when he knows, let's tell him and get back at get Troy for bumping us. The freight cars and Hector heard this. They laughed rudely at the engines as they went by. Soon, Simon, Mark, and Jimmy found out why. Disgraceful, said Simon. Disgusting, put in Jimmy. Despicable, finished Mark. We cannot allow it. They consulted together. Yes, they said. He did it to us. We'll do it to him and see how he likes it. Meanwhile, Charlie Lee went to the yard to, to tell another joke to the freight cars. How do bees get to school? But the freight cars wouldn't listen. A school buzz. <laughs> but the freight cars just stared at Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, said the blue freight car. I think I know why the freight cars are not are not um listening to your jokes anymore. More. But Charlie didn't hear the the blue freight car. Sir, uh, wait, wait, Charlie, Charlie, shouted Hector. But it was too late. Charlie was already gone. Charlie decided to tell a joke. 
joke to the uh, to the big engines, but they barred his way. Go. Stop falling such a early. I want to tell a joke. And I'm tired as well. So are we, hiss the engines. We're tired of you. We like Dimitri. We don't like you. You tell tales about us to the cars. I don't. Do too. Do not do to. Sir Topham Hat came to stop the noise. Charlie called me a New York Central coward, said Simon. A stupid Strasburg train, grumbled Jimmy. The the grumbling ex poor express engine he fumed Mark. Well, Charlie, I only wish, sir, I, he said bravely, that I thought of those names myself at the dome fits. <coughs> he made cars laugh at us, accused the engines. Sir Topham Hat, Hat looked at Charlie again. Did you, Charlie? Certainly not, sir. No steam engine would be as mean as that. Dimitri oiled up. Now, Dimitri, you heard what Charlie said. I can't, I don't get it, sir. The dick that Charlie of all engines. I'm dreadfully grieved, sir, but no, nothing. I see, said Sir Topham Hat. Dimitri squirmed and hoped he didn't. Sorry, Charlie, but you must help out on Stepney's. Branch line for a while. I know Stanley will be glad to see you. All right, sir. Charlie steamed away, and Dimitri smirred with triumph. Sir! Sir! Yes? Today I heard Dimitri... We, um... I heard Dimitri play a, a trick on Charlie. He played a trick on him to be sent away. They, they, we've tried to warn Charlie, but he wouldn't listen. Thank you for telling me. I'll be right back. Thank goodness Charlie's finally gone. Yeah, I don't even want to hear his jokes again. And it's teasing as well. Oh, hello, sir. Dimitri, off my island this instant. 
Yes, sir. Wait a second. What did Dimitri do? He played a prank on you three. Oh. We have to tell Charlie that we're sorry for blaming him for teasing us. Yeah, we should. 